It's day two at the Target Sprint GB Festival. Today we have the Target Sprint International, so the IWSF World Tour British Open. There are a number of countries all competing and we're here to support on home soil Great Britain. It's wonderful to have Air Arms sponsoring the whole event and there are lots of athletes, junior women, junior men, senior women, senior men. So this morning are all individual events and this afternoon are teams and mixed teams as well. As you can see, it's raining today, but the rain won't dampen our spirits. The final lap of each race, smooth, demanding, good time, a bit slow on the shoot, could have been better. Morton took me on the last leg, as he does. The junior male was definitely the highlight of my day, winning the gold. Definitely pushed myself on that race and then maybe slightly regretted it when I was feeling a bit achy. <laughs> and I had two more races to go, but overall, just amazed. It's kind of something I've been working towards for the whole season. My running's okay, but then I just can't shoot. And it's like I've known that if I could improve my shooting, then I could get there. And it's nice that it finally happened, I guess. I'm really happy. It was probably the best race I've ever done. The junior event didn't really go as I wanted it to, but during the time between the two races, I spent time just going over what I need to do when I run in. I amended my position of my feet and where the rifle was aimed at the target, and I finished the seniors race in second, so I was happy about that. During the weekend, we've had individual competitions which is an individual athlete, runs 400 metres, knocks five targets down, runs 400 metres, knocks five targets down and then races the last 400 metres to the line. And then also there's teams of three, which are same sex teams of three athletes. The first athlete goes through exactly the same as the individual, so it's run three times, shoot twice, then they tag, run three times, shoot twice, and tag, and then run three times, shoot twice, 
and get to the finish line. It's quite a good exciting race, especially if there's five or six teams on the line because you're not quite sure who's actually in the lead at whichever point. And then also we have the mixed pairs, which is where the lady runs 400 meters, knocks five targets down, then tags the man who runs 400 meters, knocks five targets down. The lady runs 400 meters, knocks five targets down. Then the man comes in after 400 meter run, knocks five targets down, and then has to run another 400 meters. Exceedingly fast and exciting race because it's swap and change all the time. People run really fast, they miss one shot, and you go from first to fifth. It is what I consider the most exciting race of the competitions we do. The mixed race was eventful. My first shoot didn't go so well, and then my second shoot came in maybe fourth, and nailed the shooting, came out second right in front of the German, and you know, just kept my place, and it was amazing. I would say the biggest challenge is having three like, big finals all cramped into one day. Having to push yourself and do the best you can in three events is quite challenging on your body. You can't ask for more, really, so I love it. It's the end of day two of the Target Sprint GB Festival. It's been a fantastic event. This morning we had the individual competitions followed by a presentation and also some British records were handed out for their achievements in 2018. Followed after lunch with the team events and then the climax, the really exciting event of the mixed pairs competition. It was a fantastic event, some brilliant performances from all the countries, all the teams and all the athletes. Tomorrow Tomorrow, which is the last day of the GB Festival. Athletes have all qualified from regional competitions to qualify for tomorrow's national final, which bodes to be a really exciting day, packed full of athletes and lots of enthusiasm, support and energy.